Mark 2 doing well today out there on track. Getting a little bit hot in these hot conditions. It's probably about 27 degrees out here or thereabouts. House there got a little bit uh, hot there. That session leaked a little bit. Brakes were amazing this time. Got some good battles with the Supra and again with the GR Yaris. So this is the Toyota Parade lap. We do this every year. They line up every Toyota in the building. Pretty epic. Every variety of Toyota you can imagine. Another race to come this afternoon. Old school cars. And another two races to come this afternoon. In the Starlets. Race car Starlets. In fact, you can say it's still coming like a new Toyota. It's now about two or three months. 86s. Hey, 86s. KP Scarlet. It's a 16 valve with quad throttles. This thing is immaculate. Pushing the car is really trim to match the inside of the car. The reservoir's up on the dash. Very correct wheels. Very cool, and very tidy. In the show and shine, there's a huge variety of Toyotas here. Celicas, Crowns, DX Corollas, Livins. You name it, some awesome looking cars. This has to be one of my favourite alleys. I absolutely love old Celicas. And you have every variety here. We have a supercharged 1UZ motor on this one. That is absolutely next level. K Corollas. Another Celica. Every sort of variation. It's just so good to see all this classic Toyota. Steel still in action, still out there doing its thing. Look at this setup. Beautiful turbo setup. Absolutely love this black Celica with its wide arches and its front lip spoiler, front tower air spoiler. <laughs> That's about as tough as it gets. And your DX Corolla. And here we have some of the homies cars. We've got Matt Gill's A86 and Carl Skew's DX Corolla. Very awesome to see this old Toyota steel on the road. Boys out there enjoying it. As you know, I absolutely love A86s having owned two of them. I still love seeing them every time on the road. John Kicks SR powered A86. Very cool. Something you don't often see on A86. Rear camber. This car runs at IRS rear end out of uh, Nick and Sylvia. Very cool car, can't wait to see Joe out there enjoying it, having fun. A couple more K Corollas. Starlets, look at that engine bay. Perfection. A86. Truno. Truno Notch, cool combo. Some leakers. Ah, fellow 110, DZX 110. And a very tidy red A86. Levin hatch. And another red Turner Notch. Love that combination. Got GT Starlets, Levin's. A few JZX's, not as many here as I was expecting. Nice Hunter Chaser. Sora. 90 Mark II. Some sick work wheels on it. A few more JZX's, also pretty stanced out Alteza, pretty cool style. Real tidy JZX 100 Chaser, R34 GDR wheels. 
another white chaser and a really clean Mark II. The homies from Moonlight Racing have bought their two, their Crown and their Majestic. Look at this. How baller is this? And this is a real sense of Japanese VIP style at its best. JZ powered cars. Another 90 Mark II. And then there's this thing. Factory going doors. Your Sierra. Still looks just as futuristic today as it did back then. And this one's even running a turbo. And by far the most popular car here is the Toyota GT86. There is Literally about 50 of these here. There's more variations and all styles. It's very, very cool car out on the track. As you know, I previously owned one of these. They handle so well. Really good driver's car. If not, a wee bit on the slow side. But we literally have every variation here. From relatively standard to lightly modified, as they generally are in New Zealand to highly modified wide body is in the case of this car. Got the Ristos, two JZ boys with all their Supras. So good to see some real tiny Supras out. The American style Supra with its vent. every variation you can think of. Big 2JZ engines. This one must be putting on some serious ground. If you love Toyotas, if you like the finer things in life, go try a Lexus. A bit nicer interior wise, styling wise. Beautiful cars. Make perfect daily drivers. And also some fun out on track. Beautiful cars. Yeah, obviously in the series here, all the cars are identical. There's a huge variety of cars out here today. And this A86 notchback Levin runs a 1UZ V8 motor. Can't wait to see that out on track. We've got Supras, of course the Mark II. We've got a huge variety of Corollas and Celicas and sort of everything under the Toyota banners here. Real wide variety of cars. This Corolla here runs a 16 valve 4 AGE carbureted. The car I really wanted to check out when it rolled in. JZX81 with an awesome purple paint job running a uh, 1JZ non VVTI motor with factory twin turbos by the looks of things. Very cool looking car. I don't see many of these getting around. Awesome to see one on the road. We also have every variety of GT86 here today. This one here sporting a lot of TRD goodness, big brakes, aero, facelift model. There's also a lot of street cars, Supras, the 86 makes a really good track car, a lot of fun out here. We used to own a GT86, it was a great car and this is perfectly suited for this track day. Speaking of GT86s, we have the Jenkins Brothers GT86s, both rocking the two JZ engines. And we have this blue Drift 86 with a LSV8 motor swapper. Awesomely prepared car. Both these GT86s run rear mounted radiator setups. And as I said before, two JZ motors up front compete in D1NZ. Here we have Toyota Gazoo's racing lineup with their TRS car. We've got their Supra, of course. Uh, the new Yaris, GR Yaris. Look how wide this thing is. 
tell you what, this is going to become a popular car. Not really a hatchback fan, but this is awesome. Big brakes on the front. Awesome looking car. Then again, another Supra. Another friend's A86. This time, K-Swap car. K-Swap Turbo. This car is an absolute animal. Love the little van nosh back. This is a dedicated drift car and you can see I'm absolutely giving it stuff on the top circuit today. Another A86 Taruno notch. A couple of friends of mine have owned this car in the air. Very cool car, love the style. Toyota MRS, so rear vented 1cc engine. 